Hi, Home Talkers. How are you today? We're here with another DIY demo and it's going to be exciting. Can't wait to show you what we're going to do. That while we're waiting for people to tune in, you can just let us know where you've come in from, where you're looking, watching from. Um, I'm from Australia. If you notice my funny accent, that's where I'm coming to you live from Australia. And right now, it's about nine o'clock in the morning. So we've got the kids off to school and we're home here ready to do a DIY demo for you. So I believe it's, if you're in America, it's probably about seven o'clock now. You had dinner, get your cup of coffee and get ready to watch a great, exciting demo. So I was planning my demo here today <clears throat> and I thought, have I got everything? Because literally for today's DIY demo, all you're gonna need is some paint, a paintbrush, well, blue to be exact, um, a pair of jeans and your project that you're going to be working on. So for this case, <clears throat> we're going to be working on this bedside table set of drawers. Um, so <clears throat> if you did see my home talk post that I put up uh, earlier this week, you'll see all about it, but I'm not going to show you what it's going to look like. So we're just going to gradually go through this, but stay tuned because we also have a giveaway that we're going to be doing later on and we'll let you know uh, the question that we'll be asking for the giveaway a little bit later in our program. Um, but for now, you can just know that the giveaway is gonna be awesome because Home Talk are giving away a tote bag. Yes, everybody loves a great tote bag, carry your stuff. So um, stay tuned for that because the giveaway is coming up. First, <coughs> So who have we got people coming in from? Have we got questions? Oh, look, we've got North Carolina, um, Michigan. So anyone from another country? That would be interesting. Yeah, so we've had from London, already. London already? London, wow, we've got London. My good friend Shireen's here to help me with comments and all that kind of stuff. So that's awesome. So to get started on our DIY demo, let's have a look. I'm going to start with the very top. So you've got your pair of jeans. Make sure they're old. Don't use your favourites. Um, I just bought these at our local charity store, the Salvos, this is short for the Salvation Army here in Australia. We just, you know, shorten everything. So Salvation Army becomes Salvos. Um, so I bought them there. And what I've done, first of all, this is really important because we've prepped our piece with just some white paint. And as you want to see in the end of our demo, that's a key part. So white is our base. I've done that already and we're going to start, <coughs> I'm just using Fusion Mineral Paints colour Liberty Blue, Liberty Blue sounds very patriotic because it is, you just love this colour. Um, all you're going to be doing is painting your whole top of your cabinet and this demo is just so easy the kids can do it. In fact, uh, my daughter, who's 13, and her friend, she had a friend over for the day, and we demonstrated this um, technique on a sign, and we made some lovely wall art, so you don't just have to do it on your furniture, but we made some wall art, and we've actually got a video on my YouTube channel of the girls doing that, and they were so excited with the outcome. Their reactions were priceless. Just watch the magic happen. So at the moment, painting. And we're just going to be doing one coat. The coat doesn't have to be really thick. And you can see as I'm painting here, like with the white coat, you can even see the wood grain through that white coat because the white w was um, only one single coat. Sarah was just asking you yes. what kind of paint you used as your base. Uh, what kind? It wasn't a primer or anything. It was just ordinary fusion mineral paint. So that's a furniture paint and it was casement, the colour casement, which is a really nice white. So while the paint is still wet, this is where the magic is going to happen. Just making sure we've got everything covered there. And I can feel as I go over, this paint's drying really fast, as I feel I'm going over the front bit there, I can feel that it's... So here is where the magic happens. We get our jeans, if I can line them up properly. And we're going to put them on top like so. Then you are going to rub all over the jeans. 
spectacularly. Just rubbing, pressing, and what you're doing is you're pressing the imprint of the denim into the paint. See how easy this is. So I'm just get, making sure I get on the inside where the pockets are at the back because they will create a lovely imprint. <coughs> okay, I think we've got it. Are we ready for the big reveal? So then, because the paint's wet, it's going to peel away the denim. So are you ready to see this? I know. Who loves that? Is that cool or what? So look at all the beautiful um, places where you can see that the denim has caught in the pockets, um, on the seams, all of those places. Now, on your ends of your um, table, bedside table, make sure you get all the corners. So to do the drawers, I'm going to remove those first of all. Now, if you're just tuning in, let us know where you're from. I'm from Australia, and we're doing a live demo on how to do this project with denim. Is that looking great already? So I'm going to take the drawers out, because for this next bit, oops, we've painted the drawers white as well. I'm going to have to lift this up on the table. Watch me do this without getting paint on myself. This is a talent, guys. Ready? Yes. So we want to also get these front sections of here. And like I was saying before, you only do one coat of the blue. And you can see the white through it, but that's okay because it's almost like a fake denim look anyway. But everywhere we go, we're just going to be pressing those denim seams into the paint, peeling it off. You can't see it as much on this part. But when we get down to these sections, you also want to make sure we've got all of that covered in blue paint. Work in sections at a time because that is a key point. Work in sections at a time because you don't want the paint to dry or it's a whole lot less effective. So don't forget to stay tuned for our giveaway. We're going to be asking question, a particular question in a little while. <clears throat> I'm just going to try some other areas of the jeans here. So we're getting the seam, so we get some good seamage and a little bit of the pocket. I'm just going to press that along here. And watch as we take that off. How cool is that? Look at that. Yes. You can do it in other colours. That's a great point. Um, in fact, why don't you let us know what colours would you do this in? You know, you could even lighten your blue for that, add a bit of white with the blue and create that, um, what do you call that? White stone wash, I suppose, white wash kind of look. I'm just going to go up on the sides here. So what colours have we got coming in? Anyone mentioning any colours? Someone wants to do it in pink. That would look fabulous. Because literally you've got denim in any, all sorts of colours in the shops these days, don't you? So you could do anything. Oops, I should have done the top first. Just a mental note, guys. If you do the top first, then you won't be um, risking wrecking this bit down here. So... Working in sections, what other colours could you do it in? Um, you could do black denim, so you know this is actually a pair of black denim jeans that I'm using to do this. Some great ideas. Red, purple. Oh, red, yes. Red was one of my favourite colours growing up. In fact, I did a whole brick wall in my bedroom red as a teenager. I was so grateful for my parents being able to let me do that because, you know, <laughs> they actually let me paint the whole brick wall red. So red, aqua, I love that. Aqua and denim. White, you have the white underneath? Yeah, so if you were doing black, you'd, yes, definitely you still have the white underneath because if you look um, at a normal pair of black denim, you can see the flecks of white in there in the weave of the denim. So, Okay, so that's got enough on there to give it a good go. Have to get around here a bit. 
get some seams on there. And you're just literally pressing the denim in. Whoop! I can't wait to show you the end result because when you put it all together, it looks fabulous. Now, I know you think I'm really creative and that I came up with this idea by myself, but I didn't. I learnt it from a lovely lady, Fiona DeBell, and she's probably watching, so hi Fiona, if you're watching there today. She has uh, used this technique, I saw her online, using this technique to make a signboard, and it was pressing denim into the paint, and I thought that's fabulous, I want to try that. And here we are showing you all how to do that on our Home Talk Live demo. So thanks Fiona, she's the creative genius behind this and Fiona um, specialises in showing you how to do, oh look at this, I love that, how cool is that? Fiona's a, a workshop, painting workshop specialist, so she teaches people how to do workshops as well as doing some very creative workshops herself. So if you've just tuned in, I'd love to know where you're coming from and stay tuned for our giveaway. We're going to be giving away very soon, we're going to be giving away a Home Talk tote bag. Everyone wants a great Home Talk tote bag. Shireen, yes, you were going to we say something? Have, we've actually got someone from Iceland. From Iceland, you're kidding me. Hello, Iceland. That must be cold. I assume it's cold there all the time, but maybe they do have a bit of summer. I don't know. That's awesome. Okay, so we're right on the very bottom here. This could be tricky. You just have to find a piece to use. I'm going to use a pocket. I tend to use the pockets a lot. So, um, because they've got the most, you know, texture in them to feature. So you can see we've got... Oh, a little bit more here. This is great for a teenage bedroom, tween. They had lots of um, lots of great ideas from Home Talk people who actually saw my post. So that's looking really great for the front there. We can move on to the sides. Let's do this. We'll just turn it around so you can see the sides. So the same process, doing this all the way around. Whoops. I'm just using um, beautiful blue colour, but like we said before, you can do this in any colour. Just making sure that you have the white base. So you can see, you can still see the wood through that. I did sand it back to pretty much raw wood, but you, you don't have to. With a lot of really good furniture paints these days, you can just kind of slap it on and it's... Um, and it works really well, sticks really well. So I'm going to be doing this in sections like I said. So I don't want to paint the whole entire piece because the paint can dry too much and you won't get the full effect of your denim. Now the other great point to this whole demo is that you don't just have to use denim for this project. In fact, what other fabrics would you use? Um, just pop it in the comments there. What other kind of fabrics could you use to do this demo? Let me just put a great big pocket right on here. Oops. Yes, I've, that is a great idea. Lace would be fantastic on a demo like this, on a cupboard. So we're getting that full effect of the denim. Actually, I might just, that top is kind of even fairly dry right now. I'm just going to lay that on here and press the whole leg seam in there. Else burlap? <clears throat> burlap, yeah. Corduroy? Corduroy, excellent ideas. I think they're great. And the fabrics, especially, see the denim, you've got those seams. Um, corduroy also has a great texture, so does burlap, or in Australia we call it hessian. Uh, yeah, so look at that, that's looking great. So it, it's a really great faux denim look we're creating here. Are we ready to announce our question for the giveaway? What do you reckon? We have a question that we're going to be asking and <clears throat> Shireen, my friend here, and I are going to be picking the winner of a Home Talk tote bag. I might mention too that you can find me over on my blog 
And I don't think I've mentioned that the whole time. So I blog over at irestorestuff.com. So it's i-restorestuff.com. And the lovely people from Home Talk will probably put my uh, link in the comments there. So you can jump over, subscribe to my blog, and we've got lots of tutorials, tips, DIY stuff happening over on the blog. You can, um, I don't spam you with lots of uh, content, but when I can, try and make it once a week. Get a makeover, a furniture makeover post up. Mostly do furniture, painting furniture. <clears throat> but I do love all of the wonderful talent that I see on Home Talk. It's just amazing. Some of you guys are so talented. Very inspirational when you can just jump online and, you know, you might have something you need to recycle, some and you find something on home talk about it. Okay, just going to slap that there. Look at that. Just kind of all sorts of imprints here. So our giveaway question was, how do you, help me, Shireen. How do you DIY with your old jeans? Yes, so how do you DIY with your old jeans? So that's going to be our giveaway question. And if you can pop your answer in the comments, you might win a Home Talk tote bag, which would be totally awesome. So pop your comment, your answer to the question, how would you, or how do you, DIY with your old jeans? So this is one way that we're showing you now. Um, how could you DIY with your old jeans? I'm just gonna lay this on top here and do what I did before. This is a really super quick way of doing it. I get the seam all the way down. And lift it up. I see the denim looking in there. Let me just get this seam on here. Now, another good question that somebody did ask on my Home Talk post on my blog was about the, using these jeans and how many times can you use the jeans without the paint totally soaking through. So it is a good question. You won't be able to use those jeans forever on this kind of project because eventually that blue paint is going to saturate the denim. Uh, so they're kind of feeling a little bit crusty, but I used this on the first bedside drawers that you would have seen on my Home Talk post use the same set of jeans, so they're still working well. And I really don't know how many times you can use a pair of jeans for this kind of thing before, but you'll be able to tell because uh, basically when you do the try to imprint, it won't be as effective. It'll be a bit lighter. So, there we go. Pressing it in. Okay, have we got any answers there yet for how people are DIY? How, how what is it? How do you DIY with your old jeans? Something around the house that you've done or that you're planning on doing um, to DIY your old jeans. Oh, I nearly knocked this. That would have been great for live video. Knock the whole bucket of water over. I might just shift that because I don't think I'll get to the water. <laughs> How to move a thing on the table. I'm just gonna put that back there and I'm gonna start working on the drawers one at a time. So with our drawers, if you saw my, my last post um, with this effect, my last, what I did with the other, I had two bedside table drawer sets. So with the first one, <clears throat> what I did was I created this look. See, this is kind of touch dry here, right? So I, <laughs> Let me come around this way. I laid them on top, and then what I did was I pressed the jeans into the drawers, with, imagine the drawers in here, one at a time, that way. So if you wanna do it that way, um, did you wanna show them that, Mr. Camera Guy? I'll show you. Here we are. <clears throat> this is the ones I did last time. So what I did was I had a separate bit so that you can see the jeans legs going down here. Well, I had a couple of comments of people thinking, you know what, if they did it, they would probably press the denim all over. So you know what, I'm gonna try that right now. Pressing the denim all over on the um, drawers. So, to do that, 
we're going to put them up this way because you want a nice flat surface. And this is the way I do it. I usually paint around the sides first so that the wettest paint will be on the top when I do the jeans there. And as you can see, it's not a total coverage. So if you were wanting to paint your actual bedside table, you could lay your paint on a little bit thicker or you do a couple of coats. <clears throat> but I love this blue. It really suits the denim. But like we were saying before, if you've just turned, tuned in, you can do that with this with all sorts of colours. So how are we going for our answers there? We've got some great answers. <coughs> Quilts, yes, of course. Pillows, bags. Oh, that reminds me, my mum used to make denim bags out of old jeans. Perfect. Yes. Christmas stockings. Christmas stockings, yeah. Denim Christmas stockings. See, there's a project you can get a hold of. Thanks for that one over um, getting closer to Christmas. How many weeks till Christmas? Does anybody know the answer to that? I don't even think I want to know. How many weeks till Christmas? Okay, so we've painted our drawer. So we're going to press in denim jeans and I love the pockets. You know, you can get so many, um, so much out of the pockets really because they've got lots of, what do you call that, patterns, textures. <coughs> Someone says they have a denim blanket from the 70s, wow. <laughs> That would be interesting, 70s denim. Now, the other thing, so can you see that? How awesome is that looking? You know what? I've just done the drawer upside down. So we have an upside down uh, pockets on the drawer because when it sits, it's going to sit that way. But that's okay. It's going to look cool and funky. What teenager doesn't love a bit of denim? Look, I've got my fingerprint in there now. I'll just press on that and get rid of it. Almost. <laughs> um, I find that if you have to go back over the, to, uh, over the paint to make it wet again, it's not as effective because you're kind of putting on a second coat. So the trick is to really try and get onto the wet paint as soon as you can. Whoops. Got drawers moving all around the place here. <coughs> yes. Um, I haven't, but look at the front of these ones. It's got these great big huge lips. That's an interesting button. Now the zipper, well let's have a go at that, shall we? I'll probably try it on a different part because this one's just about done. And it'll probably be easier to do when it's on a flat surface. Okay, that's about all we're gonna get for that one. So as that's drying, I might just pop it in. Now you know that every set of drawers has an order that you put them in and I'm hoping that I get this right because Otherwise, some of the drawers are tighter than others. Now, see, there we go, upside down pockets. But still great and effective. <laughs> so moving on to our second drawer here, I might try that idea and use the zip at the front. Thanks for the person who suggested that one. We'll try that, we'll give it a go. Let me think, okay. Now, another suggestion while I think of it that um, I think I thought of this one. Oh, yeah, when you're doing, when you're finding a pair of jeans, and I know you don't usually want to do this, but if you can find an old pair of name brand label jeans, Levi or, you know, something like that, they often have the, um, you know, ones with the leather label. Imagine if you pressed that in, you'd probably get a reverse image, which... I don't know how you'd get around that, but it'd be cool to have that, your favourite label, jeans, imprinted in there on the denim. How are we going with those suggestions? If you've just tuned in, there's a giveaway happening right here on Home Talk Live. You could win yourself a Home Talk tote bag by answering the question in our comments section, how do you DIY with your old jeans? And we've had some fabulous answers so far. And at the end, Shireen, my friend, and I will be picking a winner. And it sounds like the decision's going to be a bit hard, Shireen, because there's some great suggestions coming up there. Someone else has suggested making a, a dog bed or pet bed 
Oh, a pet bed. Yeah, of course. That would be very cool. Okay, we're going to try and use some of this zipper. See, it's a very tiny zipper, so I don't know how well this is going to work, but we're trying it on this drawer. I've got a buttonhole there. And I just want to see if I can get some of that. Oh, it's right over the drawer knob. Well, I didn't pick a good place, did I? There we go. We can try that later. Let's just put those lips, those buttons of lips here. See what happens when I press that in. Looking great so far. Look at that. You can see a little bit of a zipper, but unfortunately I accidentally put it right where the um, drawer knob is going to probably cover that up. But I'll try a little bit over here. That's looking great and it looks like it's just a great scrunched pair of jeans sitting on the top there. So we're putting this all over. Pressing in and you're leaving the imprint and we mentioned before you can use this um, in so many different fabrics. You can try lace, burlap, um, what are some of the others we had? Leaves, yes, flowers. I guess it, you'd just have to be careful that it didn't actually stick into the paint. Wow, I love that. That's actually looking quite nice. That one worked well. Just having a little proud moment here myself, my goodness. Okay, so don't forget to answer the question to win a Home Talk tote bag. How do you DIY in your home? How do you, no, how do you DIY with your old jeans? Getting some great suggestions there from everybody. I'm loving that drawer. So we're going to have to pick a favourite drawer. The upside down pockets. Here we have the front of the jeans. Hopefully I've got the right drawer in there. I'm just leaving them out a bit because some of this paint is wet here and you don't want to stick it in there or the paint will stick. So, <coughs> okay, are we ready? If, you can, if you'd like to see more DIYs and tutorials from myself, you can uh, go to my blog at i-restorestuff.com. Hopefully we'll put that in the comments there for you. And if you've got any questions too about doing this, although as you can see it's a really easy DIY, but there are questions and we had one before about, um, or well, this was actually on the post that someone had asked how many times can you use the jeans. And obviously you would use old jeans that you don't want to wear anymore because they'll go a bit crusty. Um, and people have asked, and the answer to that is just use them as many times as you can until they get saturated with blue paint and they're not as effective anymore. So, alrighty, third and final draw looking great. Um, okay, I th and another idea that someone came up with on the Home Talk post, because you guys just loved this demo, the post on Home Talk so much. I was two hours answering your questions and just replying to all your wonderful comments about this creative idea that I learned the technique from a lady called Fiona DeBell. And um, I'm going to use the front again. What do you reckon? That's looking really bright. And I think the brighter might be because the paint was drier or because I've hardly used the front and the back has been used a few times before. So maybe that's the key too. So let's go ahead and put this front bit on here again. Pressing in. I think I was halfway through saying something and I forgot what I was saying. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh yes, I had this, someone had posted, one of the wonderful comments that I got was uh, that you could do this same effect using a sports jersey. How cool is that? You know the ones with the, um, what do you call it? Are you on there? Um, um, with the imprinted numbers, what do you call it? Raised numbers because there's stitching and all that kind of stuff. You know, you've got your great sports jersey numbers on the back. So wouldn't that be a fabulous idea? And you could do that in your team colours or something like that. What a great little graduation idea maybe. I don't know. Um, some people have said on in commenting that maybe their teenage, their older teens might not be so keen on such a project, but the younger tweens would absolutely love this and go for it. So, I don't know. What do you think? Would your teens love this kind of um, project? Turning up in their bedroom. 
surprise, mum's made over your bedside table. There we go. You can just whack the jeans in any old how. That is looking fabulous. Let's see if we can fit this drawer in. Oops. And blue paint over everywhere. Isn't that looking great? So we've just got one more side to do. It's a blank canvas, guys. Hit me with your best ideas. And don't forget we've got that uh, giveaway question, which is how do you DIY in your home with your old jeans? So if you've got a great answer for that question, pop it in the comments. And um, is there a problem? I didn't get that. Okay, pop it in the comments, and we will pick a winner at the end. So I'm just doing this last. Oh, okay. Now I know what you're talking about. My husband's sending me code messages here. Sorry. <laughs> okay, guys. Have we got any suggestions for this last side? <laughs> Is that what you're suggesting? <laughs> His camera's going up and down. I, do, will I tell him what you want me to do? Will I do it? Okay. <laughs> my husband wants me to sit on him with my jeans. What? No, but I've got this little mic thing happening on the back. Do you reckon I should? He reckons I should sit on this. I'd have to turn it over, stick it on the floor. Okay, give me a like if you want to see that. If not, I'm just going to do it traditional way and not make a fool of myself on live TV. You guys, seriously, he's really wanting me to do this. He wants me to sit on it. Oh, and I should mention my... Oh, I can see the hearts and the likes. They think that's a funny idea. Yeah, and you've got the... Yeah, thank you very much. Just close in on my jeans here. Some people said, did that just happen by accident? No, I actually DIY painted my jeans because I was trying to be a trendy mother, okay, and I've got four teenagers, well, some of them are young adults now, but I was in at the shops and the latest trend has paint splashes on the jeans, right? So I'm, tr I'm trying to be a trendy mother of teenagers, okay, probably really uncool, but I, oh, hang on, this is drying, I've got to go fast. Um, but I DIY'd this, and you can see how I did that on the blog because, you know, there's such an art to DIY paint, paint splatters. They've got to be, you know, even and all that. So really, I should I... Overwhelming. overwhelming response. They want to see me sit on these. Well, since I've got my paint splatter jeans, I don't possibly could do that. I might need a little... Sit on, it, comment, <laughs> sit on it! Sit on it! Let me hear you shouting. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe I'm going to do this on... Um, in front of millions of people, but anyway. Okay, so I'm just getting a little bit slap happy here. How are we gonna do this? Marty, my husband, who suggested it. Okay, forget, we're ditching the old jeans, guys. I'm sitting on the dresser. Do we have to take the drawers out? <laughs> do we have to take the drawers out? Okay, well, it's drying fast, guys. It's drying quickly. So seriously, I'm, I'm seriously doing this. What are these spur of the moment ideas? Do I do it or put it on the floor? Oops, I just dropped something. We have to work quickly, guys, because we have to work so quickly. Is this gonna ruin this little mic thing on my back? Sit on it, they said. Okay, here I go. My imprint of my bum. <laughs> I'm going to just have to take this off. Do I so this is a really great way, guys, that you can actually make sure it's really heavy pressing. So we're heavy pressing right here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Did it work? Oh, look. See that? That's the microphone um, little cord in there that Marty's used because he's a video guy, so he knows how to do these special things. So now we're going to have my backside imprinted on there. Maybe we should do some side seams. Also... <laughs> Some legs or something, which is my best side. <laughs> oh, I couldn't believe I did that. What about, um, no. <laughs> we need to do, we need to work quickly because the paint's drying. Okay, ready? Okay. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's interesting. We kind of smudged a bit here because I moved. I'm so embarrassed that you decided to do, uh, I, that I decided to do this. I'm shaming myself. Okay. <laughs> just getting a little, 
Shireen, uh, who reckons Shireen needs to do this? Come over here. Oh, my goodness, that is crazy. Can you believe I did that? I just need to get some more. Oh, no, I can't do that because it's, <laughs> it's all dry. Oh, my goodness. You saw it right here, people. Stop laughing. I can see the little, <laughs> I can see the little smiley guys. <laughs> I am home. It's okay. <clears throat> See, like I said, paint splattered jeans are uh, all the all the rage. So now we have blue paint bum jeans. Okay. <laughs> so let's just no. Let's look. Where's my jeans gone? I need some. Here they are. I just need these ones to finish off. We're going to. Oh my goodness! I cannot believe I just did that on Home Talk Live, and everybody saw my bum on a dresser. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I think we're almost done. Now, as you can see, you know, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist when it comes to painting furniture, so I am just going to have to finish off these little white bits that are popping up underneath the um, lip of the furniture because, you know, it's got to be perfect. <laughs> perfect, she says, as she has just sat on the bedside tables. I, you know what, guys? I'm never going to be able to top that on a Home Talk DIY ever again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I cannot believe I did that. Still can't believe. Okay, just finishing off because we want it to be beautiful. Um, so, Shireen, you've got to help me pick a winner. I think, I think, there's, a, I think there's a definite winner. Really? Yes. Oh, so you haven't told me about this person yet who's, uh, who's no, going to be the definite winner? Quite a few people said that they'd like to make a bag with their old jeans. Yes. But this lady, Melissa Crisp, yes. said that she would make adventure bags for her children who were now travelling in the car. Oh, my goodness. So she cuts the bottom of the jeans off. Yes. Snacks oh my treats, goodness, what a great idea. Toys and games. How amazing. I hope you heard that. Um, Shireen's just telling me some, what's her name? Melissa. Our winner. Guys, this is our winner of our Home Talk DIY. Just let me put these drawers back in so you can see the final look. <clears throat> um, and she has won a, DR, a, a, a Home Talk tote bag. And we can put our little denim jeans buttons right back in here. We'll make it beautiful. Um, winner of the DIY, no, of the Home Talk tote bag is... Melissa Crisp. Melissa Crisp. So Melissa had the idea of making adventure bags. And I don't know if she's actually done this already or she's doing it. Adventure bags for her kids when they go on holidays or travelling long distances... So how many kids do you have, Melissa? She makes them for every child, little adventure bags, and puts things in the pockets. Mm, so that is an awesome idea. Great idea. Congratulations, Melissa, for being the winner of the Home Talk tote bag. Now, if you missed it and you've just tuned in, I'm sorry to say you missed a great um, demo involving my backside and jeans and paint. But um, you'll have to go back and watch the whole thing. Ah, uh, that's, I think that's all we've got today. Although, uh, one more thing that I thought was a really clever idea that I wanted to share with you because one of the um, people on the post, Home Talk post, had shared this idea of actually getting a denim pocket and putting it on here. And you could do that with a staple gun. Um, but she had the idea of putting a pocket here so that her teenager could put their cell phone in... Uh, the pocket and it can be charging overnight. That's an awesome idea, isn't it? So congratulations, Melissa. And um, my, I can feel, feel my jeans are a bit wet. But here is the finished look. And if you missed my backside, there it is for everybody to see. So you can do this idea on not just furniture, you can make sign art. Here's one that's kind of a little bit light, but my daughter and I made this, and you can watch the video tutorial for that over on my YouTube channel. Just search I Restore Stuff and DIY on there. Um, all sorts of great ideas have come out of today's 
Home Talk Live, and I'm so excited because uh, you guys are just so talented, and I know that you'll be making denim stuff all over the world. Thanks so much for watching, and see you later. Bye from Australia. Any questions, leave them below.